Good day, Grade 5 students. It's a brand new day filled with fun learning experiences. I am Teacher Cheryl Rivera from Kaibiga Elementary School and welcome to the world of science. I am excited to be a part of your science learning journey. So brace yourself and let's get the ball rolling. In today's lesson, we are going to design a product out of local recyclable solid and or liquid materials in making useful products. Specifically, this lesson will help you to first identify 5 R's in waste management, second, identify and describe ways on how to reuse and recycle waste materials, and lastly, recycling other waste materials, for example, candy wrapper, or snack packages. But before we start, did you know that one ton of recycled paper can save 17 trees, 380 gallons of oil, 3 cubic yards of landfill space, 4,000 kilowatts of energy, and 7,000 gallons of water? Now, Let's talk about waste. What is waste? Waste is anything discarded, rejected, abandoned, or otherwise released into the environment in a manner that could have an impact on the environment. Now, let us define waste management. Waste management is the practice of proper waste disposal. It involves collecting, processing, and managing waste products with the goal of zero waste. There are five components of waste management. First, reduce. Second, reuse. Third, is recycle. Fourth, repair. And the last one is recover. Reduce means to lessen the amount of waste in the environment. Buy products in bigger packs than those packed in small sachets. Small sachets can increase the production of non-biodegradable waste because more plastic sachets will be discarded. Another way to reduce is to buy rechargeable batteries instead of disposable batteries. Disposable materials can increase harmful waste in the environment. Buy only the things you need. This way, you can minimize waste disposal. The next R is to reuse. It means to use again or find other ways to use a material for different purpose. For example, Use eco bags when shopping or going to the grocery. Second, use reusable containers when packing, storing food, or drinks when buying drinks. For the third example of reuse, use the properties of a material and find some other use for it. For example, empty bottle may be utilized as liquid container of cooking oil, vinegar, and the like. Fourth example, refrain from buying new materials when you still have supplies that can be reused. This way, existing materials with or without minor damage can be used again for the same different purpose. For example, you can reuse water bottles as liquid containers. Donate clothes and other useful materials to some organizations that conduct relief operations during calamities. After reuse and reduce, now we have recycle. Recycle means to create a new product using a material that has already served its purpose. Recycling produces a new material out of discarded ones. For example, we have bottles can be used to make pencil holders. 
flower vase, and plant holders. Newspapers can be made into paper mache. Now let's proceed to the fourth component of waste management, repair. To repair means to fix slightly broken things to make them useful again. Examples, sewing torn out clothes, gluing soles of shoes, and fixing bicycles. Now let's have the final component of waste management, recover. To recover means recover energy from waste. It also means getting materials or substances from garbage and having this process then reused. Materials include many kinds of glass, paper, cardboard, metal, plastic, tires, batteries, and electronics. Examples of recover is making compost out of fruit and vegetable peeling, collection of waste and segregating them in material recovery facility or MRF. Oil residue can be used in making lamps or used bonfires. How to start in making a useful products out of the recyclable materials found at home? There are five questions that we need to answer. First, what material is readily available at home? Second, what tools should I use in making my recyclable product? Third, what steps should I do in making my product? Fourth, will the product be useful? And the last question is, how will my recycled product look like? Let's try to make a pouch or pencil case made of candy wrapper or snack packages. We need to prepare the following materials. Potato chip wrapper, duct tape, scissors, zipper, and stapler. Cut it.